Hey everyone, and welcome to a synthetic review by Proxyway. If you don't know us, we review proxy providers, run performance tests, and create all kinds of content about proxy service, web scraping, and sneakers. But today, I'm here to talk about Emphatica. It's a very new company that sells residential proxies for businesses. In this review, we'll try to find out what Emphatica is for, how it works, and where it stands compared to other residential proxy providers. Let's get started. A few words about the company. As I've mentioned, Emphatica is a very new provider. It started only in 2019. The company is based in Singapore, but its owners seem to be Russian. Emphatica very clearly positions itself as a business proxy provider. In other words, it targets use cases like web scraping, ad verification, social media management, and business intelligence. All you sneakerheads out there, sorry to disappoint you. Perhaps inspired by Illuminati, Emphatica calls itself an ethical proxy network. It has an SDK that makes users of various apps into proxies, with full consent and by saving them from ads or subscriptions. It requires a KYC, and it bans reselling to protect the proxies from abuse. Emphatica also bets big on pricing. It claims to cost around 20% less than its main competitors, Illuminati, Oxilabs, and Geosurf. But is that enough to win you over? That's exactly what we'll try to find out. At the moment, Emphatica sells residential proxies only. It used to have data center and mobile IPs as well. Well, they're gone. Emphatica told us they should reappear this autumn. Meanwhile, Emphatica's proxy network includes 10 million monthly IPs. That's not too bad, even if it pales in comparison with Luminati's 72 or Oxilab's 70 million IPs. After a certain point, it becomes a measuring contest anyway. The proxies cover 100 countries, give or take. This is enough for most location-sensitive tasks. City-level targeting is available, but only for custom plans. Now, here's something very strange. The VIPs use the SOX 5 protocol. However, they can only read HTTP and HTTPS traffic, basically websites. I'm not sure why that is, and if it's some clever hack. It shouldn't make a big difference in real use, but there is a possibility of compatibility issues. The proxies are peer-to-peer. -peer. You get a BackConnect server, and it automatically rotates the APs for you in the backend. No IP lists here. So, those were the features. How is the user experience? Frankly, it could be improved, especially if you like self-service. You won't get that here. Instead, you'll be doing a whole lot of talking with Emphatica sales and support staff. Want examples? Say the registration. To claim your free trial, there is one here, you'll have to fill in a form, enter your full name, email address, company name, and even budget. Then, someone from Emphatica will contact you and set things up. Once that's done, you'll find yourself in Emphatica's dashboard. It needs refinement, but does what it's supposed to do. The dashboard lets you access your services, add funds, keep track of your invoices, and get help, either by creating a ticket or reading the knowledge base. My biggest gripe with the dashboard is that it doesn't allow you to buy proxies. The plans are there, but they are outdated and locked. I hope this will be resolved soon. To set the proxies up, you'll need to go to My Services. It shows the plans you've bought and their status. First, you'll need to authorize your IP address. I'm not sure how many you can add. I tried 20 and wasn't stopped. Beware, there's no user pass authorization, nor are there sub-users. So, if you have a dynamic IP, you'll have to update it manually every time it changes. Good luck with that. The proxies themselves come in a list. Well, kind of. Instead of simple IPs, you receive gateway addresses. Behind each, there is one IP. After an hour or so, the IP rotates. The gateway address remains the same. You can see around 2,000 of them here. One hour is kind of long, especially for scraping. So, there's a button to rotate all your proxies manually. You shouldn't abuse it though. According to Emphatica, more than every 10 minutes is a no-no. If you want, you can specify the proxy location. We're using a trial plan, so I don't think it shows the full list of countries here. You can also monitor your traffic use. I wish it wasn't buried so deep down, and the visual graph doesn't seem to work at all. Sadly, there's no API as of yet. Oh, and one more thing. 
For the proxies to function well, you'll have to install a certificate. That's additional work at your expense, but thankfully you don't have to do that often. If you find yourself looking for written guidance, Emphatica will let you down. The knowledge base is pretty anemic, and the FAQ sometimes contradicts the polished marketing materials on the website. To get help, you'll once again have to turn to Emphatica's support. Which, by the way, isn't all bad. The support works 24-7, and its theoretical response time is within 4 hours. We tried it, a reply came in less than 45 minutes. That's pretty fast. What about the performance? Well, we tested Emphatic on 4 website groups. SEO, social media, retail, and sneakers. The results weren't the best, but still very decent. The success rate reached roughly 82%. This is about average. However, there was one area where Emphatica really stuck out, US sneaker sites. There, around 95% of the requests went through, a very impressive result. Other sites gravitated from 77 to 83%. Whenever a request failed, the most frequent culprit was SSL errors. We tried asking Emphatica about it, but it couldn't resolve the problem for us. Once it's fixed, the numbers should improve. The speed? 3.54 seconds. Once again, average. You won't be breaking any speed records with these IPs. The results suffered the most from retail sites, Amazon in particular. The one area when Emphatica really shined was our stress test. No matter how many connection requests we made, the server didn't even blink. This indicates a robust infrastructure, even if you're not going to push it so far in everyday use. Most of the APs were from landline or mobile devices. They also used the still superior IPv4 protocol. All in all, Emphatica doesn't quite reach the leading premium proxy providers yet. But on their own, the results are pretty good. Now, let's talk about how much getting Emphatica will set you back. Honestly, not that much, at least in the premium range. To give you hard numbers, the cheapest plan starts at $360 for 40 GB, or $9 for a gig. We can push it down to $2 per gig, but we're talking terabytes at that point. There's also a weird pay-as-you-go plan. It gives you 30 gigs for 360, so less traffic than the entry plan, but here's the catch. This traffic doesn't expire. You can carry it over month after month. The pay as you go plan compensates for the high entry threshold, but it also makes Emphatica's pricing much less attractive. While 360 can still be too much for individual users, businesses will find the pricing very competitive. It actually stays below Oxilabs, Luminati, or Geosurf throughout the whole range. And in fact, it almost manages to compete with Smart Proxy on the lower end. Not bad at all. The pricing is solely based on traffic. There are no limits on threads or locations, just gigabytes. You can try Emphatica for free for 7 days. Not only that, there's an option to refund the unused portion of the traffic within 24 hours. Usually, you get one or the other. Having both is a luxury. That was Emphatica. Let's briefly recap. First, the pros. Transparent proxy sourcing and use. Emphatica tries hard to appear legitimate, from the SDK, to KYC, to no reselling policy. Good scaling. Emphatica's residential IPs can handle hundreds of requests per second without issues. Many locations. It doesn't quite reach the levels of Oxilabs Illuminati with thousands of cities, but 100 locations should be enough for most tasks. Competitive pricing. Compared to other premium providers, Emphatica's pricing per gigabyte is very affordable generous free trial. You'll have 7 days to try the proxies out. This is unusual in an industry where money-back guarantees reign supreme. What about the cons? There are a few. Average performance. The proxies weren't the fastest, nor had the highest success rates. Don't get me wrong, they're still very decent, they're simply not the best. Inflexible rotation settings. Once every hour is a bit long. Sure, there's a button to rotate VIPs, but that's manual work. Lacking user experience. No self-service, no API, a certificate, and a very bare-bones knowledge base make the experience less comfortable than it could be. Overall, Emphatica is a pretty good business proxy provider, but it's so new and in many ways feels like a construction project in the making. 
Don't let that stop you. Just be aware that Infatica can be rough around the edges. What's it for? A budget conscious companies that need proxies for web scraping, ad verification, social media automation, or business intelligence. Well, that was our Infatica review. Thank you for watching to the end. If you enjoyed the video, feel free to like it and maybe even subscribe to the channel. We'd also love to hear your feedback in the comments below. Take care.